The Mountain Music Trail follows Route 219 north, Route 219 is the Seneca Trail. So from Monroe County, it goes north into Greenbrier County through Lewisburg, uh, continues up through the Greenbrier Valley, up into Pocahontas County, through Marlinton, uh, up through some pretty pretty intense mountains there on its way into Randolph County, on up to Elkins, and then uh, finally up into Tucker County and, and finishing up in Thomas and Davis. Up in Tucker County, the Purple Fiddle is just a blessing to that community. There's always great music, whether it's old time in bluegrass or more contemporary stuff, they mix it up. It's, it's one of a kind. You have to be here to know. It's almost like a secret, you know? And the people that come here know it. The Purple Fiddle is definitely special. We just showed up and it was this old coal mining town and out of nowhere all these people showed up. If there's a call to West Virginia, it's Thomas. We've played all over the state, really, but Thomas was the first time we ever played in West Virginia and by far the best. Visitors carry our deep appreciation for tradition and music across West Virginia's borders. The venues and people found along the Mountain Music Trail inspire them and keep them coming back for more. We definitely run into people that have seen us here in this town and say, oh, we see in Thomas, or we've seen people like that have seen us in 10 different towns and say, I love seeing you in Thomas the best. So we get a lot of that. The people influence me everywhere. I mean, the fans and ultimately friends is what we have become with a lot of these people. So I feel like the people that are here are living like the life they want to live. And that's inspirational in itself. I always have my Purple Fiddle sticker on my amp case. And everywhere you go, you see other musicians with the same sticker. And it's just like, man, Purple Fiddle, man. It's wild and wonderful. As soon as you cross that line to West Virginia, you feel the vibe. And I love it. Craft beer and live music pair well in Tucker County. Mountain State Brewing Company sold their first beer in 2005, and their West Virginia born and brewed beer has been a favorite ever since. Mountain State Brewing is a great spot to take in live music, and the inviting tap room conjures up the warmth no matter the season. Thankfully, these guys didn't stop at brewing beer. Every August, they present the Brew Skies Festival. Brew Skies is a unique, family-friendly celebration of West Virginia's increasingly expanding craft beer movement, paired with a wide range of musical performances from both local and nationally known acts. Art Spring promotes and cultivates the arts and presents a Memorial Day weekend festival of the arts in the highlands of Tucker County. Visual artists can be found sharing their creations under tents and local musicians are scattered along the streets sharing their stories through songs. Uh, Art Spring is um, it was a project that they formed in Tucker County. Um, the idea being to showcase the arts community there in Tucker County, which had become a pretty strong community, a lot of really talented artists. So on Memorial Day, they hold a party, a big festival, to showcase all the various uh, arts and, and music. Pickin' in Parsons is a bluegrass festival held on the peaceful banks of the Shavers Fork River. The caliber of talent participating in the pickup jams throughout the campground are as impressive as the talent invited to take the stage throughout the day. This riverside spot reminds us why West Virginia is referred to as almost heaven. <laughs> 